a very warm welcome to our 2020 St George's course celebration. I'm Professor Jane Safel, the Deputy Principal for Education. Over the last few rather challenging months, I've really valued the opportunity to engage with so many students, be it personally or um, via the various video and uh, question and answer sessions we've held. And I think it's a real privilege to be able to share this moment with you today. Since we have had to postpone the graduation ceremony in the Barbican, uh, we wanted to mark your achievement with an opportunity for you to celebrate with your friends, with your family, and with all those who've supported you through these years. Um, we've invited a number of people connected with St George's or with the programme to contribute messages, which we'll be following shortly. And uh, there's also an opportunity for you to post messages of your own if you would like to. You've come through your final year at a truly extraordinary time. I, I don't think any of us are going to forget it, are we? Um, I'd like to offer my personal congratulations to you all, um, not least for the way that you've faced these many challenges of the last few months. And some of, our, of you I know have had to do this in really difficult circumstances. You've all shown real determination and commitment. And whether you have graduated or whether you have some uh, assessments to uh, finish first, uh, your achievement is immense. And I would like to offer all good wishes to you for your future and the paths that you take in your life beyond St George's. Um, and now I'm delighted to pass you on to our principal, Professor Jenny Hyam, for her to offer her congratulatory messages to you. So all the best from me and goodbye. Welcome everybody. Whether you're a recent student at St George's, family, friends and other supporters. It's lovely to see you. You are the 2020 cohort that will be inextricably linked forever with the COVID virus pandemic. And of course, one of the many memories that you'll have is the fact that this celebration is virtual and online. And I think probably quite far away from the type of celebrations that you thought you'd be having at this stage. We will in due course be back at the Barbican and formally graduating, and that's a day I love. I think the atmosphere is fantastic and it's a wonderful celebration and testimony to the hard work and achievement of you all. I have to say that a virtual celebration feels much more impersonal for me, but also has the added advantage that I don't need to worry that my hat's going to fall off, which is always a bit of a tension in graduation ceremony. And I know some of the students say to me, one of their fears is tripping up along the stage. This end of term is going to be very different. And I think the thing that we underestimate in ourselves often is how hard it's been and how we've had to adapt to what are very unusual and stressful circumstances. You've done really brilliantly to show the focus and commitment needed to complete your studies. You've had to interact in a very different way with learning materials and also with the examination process. St George's is a very friendly community and that friendliness has been preserved and I hope that you've managed to have conversations in the virtual world, along with all the friends that you would have expected. And perhaps in due course, you'll also physically be able to meet. I'm really proud of all the contributions that everybody's made, whether it's through volunteering, through going early into practice, through helping their local community and supporting their families too diverse a range of things people have done to mention, but all of you have done well. Once you leave St George's, it's not the end of our relationship. You become an alumnus 
and I hope that we will be in touch for the long term. We'd love to know how you get on, your future progress. We also like to make connections between you and the next group and cohort of people who study at St George's. They find that your reflections and what happens next is of great interest and support. So I thank you in advance for that. So to conclude, many congratulations again. Before I sign off, I just want to introduce the next video, which has been recorded by the Chancellor of the University of London. She doesn't normally do this, but it's a reflection of the COVID times in which we live. And so we're next going to hear from Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal. Graduating students of 2020, congratulations on attaining your degree, particularly given the circumstances in which you completed the last few months of your studies. Every student experience is unique, but I think everyone will remember 2020 as different. Whenever I attend University of London engagements, I'm constantly struck by the enthusiasm and energy that you display for your studies and the range and achievements of your non-academic activities. With the world facing challenges none of us could have envisaged a few short months ago, and at a pace that requires flexibility and innovation, the skills and knowledge that you have acquired while at university are needed now more than ever to help reshape the future for us all your institution will support you now and into the future in your endeavours. While you may be missing the formal graduation ceremony this year, I hope you will retain the friends, the experiences and the knowledge you gain during your studies. They will all be part of your foundation for the future. Once again, my congratulations and I wish you every success as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Graduating class of 2020. I have to be honest, I was really looking forward to this moment. I wanted to make sure that the speech this year was a lot more funny, a lot more inspiring, and I actually wanted to get a much better reaction from the audience. But as I sit here in my office, studio, bedroom, workspace, and everything else this place has been for the past few months, I realized that as I'm delivering this, that won't be possible, at least for now. So for the rest of this, I'm going to pretend that every joke I've made is funny and that everything I've said, all of you are enjoying. Being a student has got so many challenges. Everyone thinks it's so easy, but they forget all of the different obstacles and hurdles you have to go through. They forget about the times when you say you will not submit another assignment last minute and then surely enough a few months down the road you submit an assignment last minute and you regret not fulfilling your promise they forget about the times when you have to make those executive decisions during exams of how many lectures you're going to miss versus how many nights of sleep you're going to miss and you have to weigh up the pros and cons not easy to do they forget about the strict financial discipline a student needs to pay their rent, pay their bills, get the chance to go out with their friends, and maybe in between get the chance to eat and drink a little bit as well with the limited student budget that they have. Again, it's not easy. Being a student really does have so many challenges and you, class of 2020, you not only overcame those challenges, but you managed to survive through one of the most difficult and challenging and unique circumstances and points in history that there has ever existed. At a time when there has been so much uncertainty, so much going on in the political world, and the way that we are reflecting and looking at things as a, as a society is changing, you have been able to get through all of that. Above everything else, I want you to remember and I want you to realize that I, the staff and lecturers and everyone else at the university and your family and friends are so proud of you and what you have achieved through these difficult times. Well done.
at a university like St. George's, you get the chance to work with so many different people from so many different backgrounds and with so many different career paths ahead. And you learn that what's important when working in a team is not to have this mentality that you are the best in the team, but being the best for the team. And this is a message that the current circumstances with the pandemic have made us realize all the more. And this lesson is so important moving ahead. During these times when you see people talk about burning bridges with our neighbors and building great big walls to stop people from coming in, I want you to remember the George's spirit and what we have learned so far moving forward onto the next chapters in our life, not just as professionals, but as leaders of change in our society. Now, I don't want to give the impression that all the difficult things in life and all the challenges are gone and over. I'm sorry, but this is just the start. But the difference is now you have the tools, the skills and the resilience to move forward and to be able to tackle them as you go through the different stages in your life. And what's better, you now have so many friends and family around you who have gone through this journey with you, who will support you and remember to use them for support and help. I want to finish by saying congratulations to every single one of you. You have shown great spirit and I'm so proud to be able to be your president this year. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Fran Gibson and I'm the course director for Biomedical Science. First of all, huge congratulations to all of you. You should be very proud of your achievement. We're all very sad that graduation won't take place this year, but we hope that this online celebration goes some way to provide an opportunity to acknowledge and celebrate with you today. It's always a joy and a privilege to be part of your graduation and the same applies to this today. You are the first cohort to graduate from the new programme, so you're kind of pioneers. And the programme was redesigned to be specific for you, you as biomedical science students. You're graduating with degree titles that reflect your specialisation in year three. And that's the first time that that's happened. You're also including the first graduates from the BSc in clinical bioscience and that was a pathway in year three that was designed to prepare you for medicine. So those graduates will be going on to study medicine either at St George's or elsewhere. We know that it's been a really difficult few months and, and you've had to cope with alternative teaching, alternative assessments, and we really, really thank you for your understanding and your patience as we've worked through all of those changes. But you've re coped really, really well with those changes. The university put in place procedures to mitigate against the effects of the pandemic. And we see no evidence of a detrimental effect on your results, either at the module level or the cohort level. In fact, your results are the best that we've ever seen, so you should be very proud. We wish you well for the future, whether you're going on to further study, which is what the majority of our graduates do, historically, or employment. It's been a real privilege to be your course director, and I hope that you've enjoyed the programme. I'll now hand over to Paris, who's the academic lead for year three, and also the intercalated course director. Hello everybody, my name is Paris Italiotis. I'm the course director for the intercalated BSc and I'm the academic year lead for biomedical science year three. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate you all on your degree outcomes and for making it to the end of the course. I hope you've had a good year overall. It's been an interesting year for all of us and it continues to be interesting. It's thrown up some quite unusual challenges this year and I know that many of you had uh, let's call them challenges back in April and May of this year in particular but you've all come through really well you've weathered the storm and the degree outcomes that we've seen this year I think mirror uh, the resilience that you've all shown so I wanted to speak a little bit to the intercalated students in particular and just to remind you why you decided to take the intercalated degree in the first place. It's something that we encourage you to do, something that we know makes 
people better doctors when they go back to medicine. And we hope that one of the main things that you've picked up this year is about the importance of understanding science, understanding what data is, how to analyse data, how to question, how to think critically. And all of those things, when you go back to medicine, although that's wrapped up in more procedural work, you should still bear those things in mind and still question why you're doing things, maybe how you could improve things as you go along. And importantly, you should take also the message that to other people, other people within the profession, other people outside of the profession, why it's important to bear in mind what science is all about, why data is important. And we've seen that in very stark relief this year in the way that different governments have responded to the COVID-19 crisis throughout the world. And to all of you, I'd like to wish you uh, very good luck for whatever is coming for you next year. I know that a number of you will be staying with us, either returning to medicine or transferring into medicine. Some will be staying on for postgraduate study here or going to postgraduate study elsewhere. And I know that some of you are going to face a fairly challenging environment in looking for jobs in the wider world. And I wish you all the best with that. So I hope you're all able to stay around for a little bit longer and to record videos and messages for us and for your fellow students. It's a real shame that we can't be with you in person this year, but we hope to be able to see you all at graduation or back at George's in the not too distant future. Bye. Hello graduates. I just want to say congratulations on completing your degree. I can honestly say it's been a pleasure to be part of that journey with you. It's been an absolute honour and a joy really to teach you during your time at St George's. I'm really proud of your achievement and it's been a great privilege to me to interact with you and be part of your education. That's such a great thing. Whatever you do next, you can leave with your head high, safe in the knowledge that you have achieved something really worthwhile. I know from my interactions with many of you, just how much time and effort you've dedicated to studying over the past three years. And I think uh, your achievement is something you can be really proud of. And good luck with whatever you do in the future. Be confident in what you do next. You've already survived an intense three years and shown yourself able to cope. You are the future. You can make a huge difference to society. Good luck to you. And uh, I'm sure you're all going to be really successful. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations on completing a biomedical science degree course. Congratulations again. Good luck. And for now, goodbye. So we hope that you've enjoyed the celebration and we would encourage you to continue by uploading your messages and memories to Flipgrid and also to fo fellow graduates on social media using the hashtag ProudlyGeorges. Remember that you're entitled to two years of career support after you graduate, so please make use of this if needed. And also please engage with us as alumni. There are numerous opportunities throughout the programme where your experience as graduates, either in further study or work, is of immense value to our current students. So please, please keep in touch with us. So goodbye and good luck. And I hope to see you all at a future graduation in the very near future. Thank you.